before my father passed away, he said to me that you really need to kind of keep an eye on mom. She has a, a history of Alzheimer's in her family. Shortly after she moved to Chicago to be near us, um, I found that she was lost one day. She was nowhere close to where she was supposed to be. Um, I happened to be driving just a couple cars behind her and could see that the driver was, was lost. And as I pulled up and drove by her, I realized that that was my mother. And just being around her, I could see that she was starting to forget some of the things that, that we had talked about. She was also taking lots of notes, and I could see that the notes were repetitive about what conversations she's had. And I think she was aware. In seeing my mother struggle through her memory issues, um, I was motivated to find out more about what, if anything, I had inherited from her, and also to find out what, if anything, I could do to help alleviate that possibility in my life. I had a lovely meeting with Dr. Mary Gnori. Um, they went through a whole host of testing, everything from just regular day-to-day -day questions to agility tests. Um, it was a really long but very thorough appointment. And now as a result of having gone to the Center for Brain Health, I work out at least five days a week. Um, we are cutting back on the red meats. We are having more seafood and sort of more of Mediterranean diet. I've started to take a new language um, and I'm learning other things, new things, that, um, that will just kind of expand my horizon. When we did genetic testing, we found out that I actually have my father's protective alleles. So it really immediately cut my risks of dementia pretty significantly. I'm really glad that I did it. It's good to know. I've now learned ways to actually improve and actually change my health habits to improve my chances of not getting dementia.